but at the, at the moment there's no and I, i'm going to speak specifically about south africa here because most of you know most yeah. of the audience will be south african at the moment there's no specific qualification like the accounting profession where instead of going through mm -hmm. you know the the efforts you go you know you're learning ipsis instead yeah. and you you know there is there there's no specific channel at the moment right it's like yeah. do this and then your experience and your like articles and or whatever post articles will take you into that yeah so so there has been a qualification in the country called the the rga the registered government auditor uh, yeah um which is through uh, saiga the south african institute of government auditors okay. uh, at the moment that is not as far as i understand it's not a, a direct option that you can take right now maybe because you can't get practical experience at the moment in it it's yeah. not being offered at the AG currently, okay. um, so that but that is there's there is some movement happening in that space, okay. and that might be an option. Okay. But but you know fundamentally, you do the, the, if you if you're working through Saika and doing the CA, that yeah. that's what you yeah. what you really need in South yeah. Africa. There's, right. Internationally, there's some, there's some qualifications you can do and some kind of add-ons. Um, part of what I'm doing is trying to work to ensure yeah. that there are more options available. Right. But again, as I say, we don't necessarily want you know the people two. who only yeah the one or the other understand the, the yeah. broader space yeah. and can work in that so from your perspective knowing both sides of the table private and you know public and obviously mm -hmm. your focus and your interest in the education and the training um do you kind of think that and let's take your cas for example do you kind of think that your your ca um mm -hmm. qualification path in terms of your academics should include like public sector as a subject or as a concept or as a topic because at the moment there's nothing yeah you know yeah. there's like there really is nothing and i, I find it you know it's really interesting like you say your qualitative you know your performance uh you know performance reporting and and, and your compliance reporting etc that's not something that you know we don't really touch uh you know we don't really touch on that at all you know even yeah. even like you say your your integrated reporting that's Still quite low you know it's not really something that we go into at a yeah. high level kind of it's to some extent a little bit more of an awareness and i like you know are they ticking the check boxes and are they doing stuff so yeah. would you kind of say you'd like to see in your degree and in your cta or whatever that everyone should be exposed yeah. to some of the differences or the concept of topics <laughs> objectives comparison between auditing and accounting standards etc yeah. So, so let me give some context first of all before I answer. Um, in South Africa, the public sector is more than a third of our economy. Uh, in terms of yeah, employment, right. it's employing like a third of the people. Right. You know, if you compare yeah. government spending to GDP, it's about a third. So, uh, the the this is a massive section of of, of our country and uh, of our economy. Um, so, you know, there are people who don't believe that we need anything specific. Um, because you know there's nothing specific on banking or on insurance yeah or on, okay I mean, right. whatever it is you, you yeah. do that later um I, I really hold a different view to say this is so fundamental to our country that right. whether even if you even if you don't work in the public sector you're probably going to work with the public sector at yeah. some point yeah, yeah. Um, through through your through your, your normal job in the in, in, in you know a private company so so having an understanding of this world is really important when i got to the the agsa I, I didn't know the difference between like a judiciary and a legislature and a parliament and a, and probably many of your students are thinking I don't even know what he's talking about. And, I and can that's, tell them that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and this is because we just aren't exposed to these things. No, so, I mean, it is changing, and there's some lecturers who really are trying to give this exposure. But yeah, I mean, let me let me put it this way. In my view is that it should be deeply integrated into everything we do right. uh, when you study. Yeah. The, 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 the types of when you're doing auditing, you should have case studies that are, mm. you know, in the public sector. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when you're doing accounting, there should be public sector case studies. When you're doing MANAC, there should be public yeah. sector case studies. Yeah. And so, so that it's integrated so that you're applying these principles that are broadly the same uh, yeah. in public sector context. Yeah. You know, can yeah. you identify risks in, uh, you know, the Ministry of Environmental Affairs. Um, yeah. You know, can you uh, can you identify risks in your local municipality mm. um, for that audit? You know, it's, it's that kind of thing. Um, because at the end of the day, like if we're not getting students to 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 no. think about how these principles apply, they won't even know that that they could apply. 
Um, a, a huge gap at the moment, in my view, is that that, that, that we face with, with students who do do their training in the public sector is that SACA has this fantastic final exam that everyone writes. It's a case study based exam. Um, and, and it's great because it tests your ability to use the skills that you've learned through your, through your university training and yeah. through your practical experience. And now you get to show how you can do that. But it's private sector case studies. <laughs> So for somebody who's been exposed to 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 primarily the public yeah. sector, firstly yeah. it's quite challenging yeah. um, to get their head around that, and and you can't train your way out of that because the whole point is you're supposed to have gotten professional yeah. experience. Right. Um, so that that is I mean that, yeah. and that's something a student should be aware of as a yeah. as a challenge if they go yeah. if they do their training in the public sector. Yeah. But 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 also why why could we not have you know yeah. you know case studies in that exam yeah. that are public sector based? Um, yeah. I think there's been one or two small ones, but nothing of substance yet. Yeah. So. So, you know, that's, I mean, this is part of what we're trying to do to also influence the people who make those decisions and say, actually, we do need to integrate the, to uh, the work of government into, into yeah. what we do. Yeah. Um, so, and I mean, I could go on, on about the, <laughs> the details of what, what could go there, and that's probably not for today, but, but really there's, there's a, a, a whole world that, that we would like students to be exposed to. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, not, it's not something that you, you can't pick up as you go. Um, but it would be really valuable. Um, and there's no question that, you know, the stuff that you're exposed to when you're studying creates the interest of, huh, I wouldn't, you know, that's something that I wouldn't mind exploring. That's something, whereas, you know, the reality is like, you don't even know it exists. Um, yeah. You know, you don't even know. I, I would imagine that a lot of people don't actually even know that there's a different set of standards. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 there sure. are, it's like, I don't even, you know, sure. I don't even know that, that exists. Um, and I definitely, there's, there's no question that I, you know, I've, I've been guilty of that for a while and, until I did more lecturing and training and stuff at, at the AG. It was a little mm. bit like, oh, okay, so you don't do that. That's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I mean, some of it, some of it, some of it, simple, simple things. That, that, yeah. I mean, a lot of your students might be shocked that in, you know, our, our um, national government and our provincial government that they apply uh, modified cash standards. So basically they're using the cash basis of accounting. Yeah. And you may think it's shocking and terrible, but there's what? really good reasons for it. <laughs> it's actually, we'd be happy yeah. to share another day. Yeah. They are, there is a process to migrate them towards what we okay. understand as the full yeah. accrual accounting. And, and that's, that's a really important thing that accountants can be a part of, yeah. uh, making those changes. But, but these, this is kind of realities. It is, it's, yeah. it is a different world and there's, there's, you know, when you, you, a lot of accountants come, you know, when they look at the public sector, they can be quite, even arrogant is the word I'd use to think, but Agreed. why are these guys doing this? And we know so much Agreed. better. And here's Agreed. our answers. But there's, but the, the world is complex. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when you have a, a budget, when you, when most of your life is about complying with a budget, um, you, it becomes more important about have I spent the money that, right. that I was given correctly and for yeah. the right thing, yeah. um, rather than rather than whether I've you know you know yeah. recognised my provisions correctly. Yeah. Uh, there's obviously a huge benefit to to accrual accounting, right. and that, that you know yeah, yeah. something we're trying to trying to deal with. But but there's really good reasons for it, yeah. and, and understanding the kind of inner workings of the sector can can yeah. really help the, the accountant to, yeah. to have an impact. Yeah, because yeah. I think, you know, one of the, um, or, you know, big differences that, that kind of struck me, uh, and it, it's, a, it's kind of an obvious one, but if you never really thought about it, is in, in private sector, you know, one of the really big things is the revenue recognition, you know, is like, yeah. are we happy with revenue recognition? Because it's all about sales, it's all about profits, all about it. and the expenses are like a component of that, you know, they're yeah. kind of, come slightly after like revenue recognition is an important thing whereas you know in the public sector the really important thing is the spending <laughs> you know you can't you've yeah. got your budget it was in as you say it was in the budget speech and now it's been you know it's been put in and like sweet you've got your money so revenue recognition is less of an issue because it was allocated mm. end of story but did you spend it properly you know like have you actually yeah, yeah. so that you know that it's a, it's a very simple difference but it's, it's interesting mm. like your focus you know the focus difference coming over is I think it, it does it makes for really interesting thinking and I really like the idea of, of expanding the syllabus or exp expanding our exposure if for no other reason than to expand the way we think about stuff because I, yeah. I agree with you as you know as CAs we do have a tendency to have a bit of an arrogance of going this is the right way this is the only way you know nothing else works Whereas, you know, you, you get exposed to different scenarios or different situations, you go, oh, you've got a point. <laughs> Never really thought about it that way. You know, you've got a point. So 
I think that's I think that's quite valuable, and I I I, I agree with you though. It's going to take quite a while to actually see any <laughs> any changes, yeah. any, any practical changes. But um, I think it would it would be quite interesting.